<coughs> Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about users and roles. As you have already seen, to access the administrative area or add posts or do something, we have to log in into our WordPress website. And in the initial discussions, we had seen that there is a user section and there is something called as a role also. So what exactly is this role and how we can manage users? This is what we want to see here. Now, the first user that got created, fine, in my case, Dexter, is the administrator of the website. The administrator of the website, when logged in, gets access to each and every part of the system, WordPress system. Basically, I can do everything. I can add plugins. I can uh, uh, change the appearance and add posts, delete posts, and even manage the users over here. Now, what exactly is the idea behind roles? So if we look at hey, this place, we have multiple roles over here. Subscriber, contributor, author, editor, and administrator. Now, administrator, we understand, is a person who can manage the whole websites and even manage the users over here. And then there are some other roles. But the question arises, why do we need the roles? The idea behind roles is simple. We want to have access control. So access control basically limits the access to different areas of our website. Now, let us say we want our WordPress site to be collaborative. That means we want more users to collaborate and more people to collaborate. Or let us say I am an administrator, but I am not a writer or I'm not a content writer, developer or whatever. So I want some other people to write the posts. I want some people to view, manage the posts and so on. So with these roles given to different people, they will get restricted rights on the logged in area. Fine. So first of all, let us simply discuss what are the different roles over here and what access rights they will get. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a user for each of these roles and then we can see administrator we have already seen we have all rights fine another idea before we proceed is that if you work as administrator all the time since you have access to each and everything it could be a dangerous situation fine you might uh, accidentally change modify or update something which you don't want to happen every time when you are working or doing something usually in wordpress you will be adding and updating your content and you don't want to do administrative work. So it's also a good idea that you don't log in as the administrator all the time. Create a role suitable for your purpose and then use that role accordingly. So here we'll pause the video and we'll just create the users. So let's just have a look at how to create a user, which is very simple. We'll click on add user. And here, username, we will call it as Ed. And Ed is going to be our editor. And Ed at, this should be a proper email ID, but I'll just keep it as wordpress.local. Then first name, let's call him Eddie, last name. E. This is not required and it says generate password. So we are just going to say add ed123 and we will say confirm use of big password and we don't want to send it. And I'm going to assign the role as editor over here. Fine. And we'll simply say add new user. This way you can define any of the users and the user will get added. Now I will add a user for each of the roles and let us have a look at that.
okay so here I have created users author contributor editor and subscriber so based on uh, the functionality that they can get we will log in with that particular user and we will see so the first thing that we are going to do is the least functionality a user gets is a subscriber so basically a subscriber is simply a person who can log in and manage their profile it is a kind of a way to say how many people are there on our website so what we'll do is we will see these things one by one so let's go to wordpress.local and uh, login now here we will log in as sub who is the subscriber subscriber one two three and our code module which is already running let's log in so here you can see the dashboard as compared to the dashboard of our administrator fine over here it is a bit different fine administrator has so much of access and here this person has only the access to updating the user's profile the person can manage his or her profile and nothing else fine of course the person can visit the website read the posts leave a comment or something okay nice post and the person can post the comment fine apart from this in the dashboard the user does not have any kind of access over here just the access to his or her profile okay next we are going to see with respect to the role authority after subscriber we are going to see the contributor what a contributor can do fine so contributor our login id is con and let's log in as contributor over here 140 here we log in as contributor So uh, what exactly is a contributor? Contributor basically is a person who can contribute with posts and manage only his post, his or her post. So here a contributor, when we go to posts, we can see there are multiple posts, fine, but there is no option of deleting the post or anything. Let's say uh, view, there is no option of delete the post. These are posts by someone else. But can a contributor add a post? Yes, a contributor can add a new post. So over here, we'll say a test post by con. Okay, and here say hi, I am a contributor. Now without much of the other things we will simply publish this post so what it says is submit for you are you ready to submit it for review when you are ready submit your work for review and an editor will be able to approve it for you so the interesting part is a contributor can create a post but this can only be approved by an editor or maybe the site administrator so we will submit this for review so our post is submitted for review over here fine and now let's go back over here and have a look so here is a test post which has been created by the editor you can edit it and you can delete the post also by putting it into trash or you could review it so basically you can manage the posts which you have created you cannot publish them it has to be managed by an editor or administrator so 
since we are already logged in as admin if we go over here posts we can see there is a post already we can edit and further allow publishing of this but we will see that action from the editor's perspective now coming back to this another thing is that of course the role editor since the person can create posts he can read the posts that we have already seen so now let us log out from the editor uh, sorry the contributor now we will log in as the editor and let us see the capabilities of editor so here we are logged in as the editor what we can see is we go to the post section and we can see the pending posts and we can see that editor is given access to delete the post so can we delete a post yes we can delete the post fine this post has been deleted if we go to trash we can see that there are posts that have been put into trash right if we want we could do delete them permanently also so editor is allowed to delete the posts obviously editor is also allowed to create posts and it won't require the review permission and all so editor can basically edit and manage all the posts uh, his or her own posts or posts by any other person fine so let's go and preview this post which was given by the contributor fine so we feel that the post is good so we can go to edit post and we can now publish it so this post will be published by the editor or you can do it as the administrator also fine so this post is published let's view the post the post is now available if we go to the main page of this so this is the post that is available now let's go back to the dashboard and see what else we can do we can look at the comments so there are some comments which we can approve can reply edit spam trash so editor can also manage the comments on his post as well as the posts or comments given by other people obviously profile everyone can manage their own profile so editor can manage his or her profile editor can manage media also though we have not talked about media media is a section where we can upload images video audio other files which can be used at different locations so this also can be managed by the editor fine like if i click on this media i can manage this particular media fine then let's go to the tools section and let's see what access the editor has so editor we don't have any kind of access for the editor to do with the tools so basically a editor can manage all posts comments in terms in simple terms an editor can manage the content on the website fine so that basically takes care of our different roles that are there in our system so as i had mentioned earlier administrator is a person who will be able to manage the whole website including adding managing users administrator can add one more administrator okay which who will have the similar rights over here so we have seen subscriber contributor editor author and administrator so these are the basic five rules which you get in a wordpress installation and the capabilities that they get we have just discussed so if you are going to host a website with wordpress where multiple people are going to contribute you can accordingly assign different roles to those users fine so that is it about the roles and capabilities that are provided by 
WordPress on a WordPress-based website.